What the fuck did I just watch? Uh, can, can we just rename this from It Chapter 2 to It Go Home Movie, You're Drunk? Because that, th this was, ooh, this was an unusual watch. Now, to its, to the credit of the filmmakers, stellar job on the casting for the adults. And there were a lot of things that were done great in this film, but there were some highly confusing decisions. Like having a leper puke, and the sound that it makes is... Uh, the song Call Me Angel or whatever that was. I don't remember the actual title. It might be Call Me Angel. I just remember the lyrics just blasting. Just all of a sudden you've got a female singer voice blasting out as puke is erupting from this very clearly CGI leper. Like cartoonishly CGI. It was pretty bad. <sighs> Let's just get this out of the way. The original or the first chapter had have all of its elements balanced out. You could complain about a number of different things, but everything kind of balanced out. It didn't always flow as well as it could have. It could have been tweaked in certain areas and certain decisions changed. But overall, it felt cohesive and felt like it had something tangible. It was something that you could really get a feel for. This didn't have a very consistent feel. The balance between horror and humor is basically gone. You're drifting back and forth between the two and sometimes it's abrupt which is essentially like a drunk person trying to walk a line hence go home movie you're drunk <laughs> oh boy i really wanted this to be far better than it was but really i'm just getting the vibes of the original miniseries because you're getting all these flashbacks it's not as bad as it was in the miniseries, and actually it was done better in this version. But I would have preferred Chapter 2 to avoid all flashbacks, to be honest, or to have the most minimal number there are. Because you're starting to be too much like what has already been done. And Chapter 1 stood out because... It had never been done like that before. And now it's... It's feeling more reserved. And I don't like that. It's just feeling like it's holding back. It definitely shows that it has more confidence in its budget. But not as much... It, it just seemed to... I don't really understand what to do now. And I think chapter one is going to be one of the greatest Stephen King adaptations, and I don't think anyone will disagree with that. Partially because it was a continuous storyline that involved kids. It was far more brutal than this one. This installment was... It... It wasn't an entire letdown, but it did take the wind out of your sail, for lack of a better term. You're just... It's like whatever breath you were holding for this to be a really, really good film just got taken out of you. You just feel deflated by it, and I, I don't like that. I do think that the conclusion was good, and I still love the characters. I love, even though I don't like the flashbacks, I do love getting a little more of the kids. Because Richie as a child is fantastic, and the kids are great. Now, Richie as an adult is still fantastic, and I love him. But I just love seeing them all as kids, and it's... 
there's something magical with the group of kids more than there is with the group of adults. It's just the way it is. Uh, I'm sorry, that's not going to change no matter how great the casting is. The kids just have this connection, this kind of glow about them that you can't replicate in adults. Not, not very easily. And with so many adults having to take the place of the kids, you were really going to struggle to recapture and rekindle that kind of glow in the adult cast. So yeah, I... I can't say I entirely don't like the film because I love the characters. I love seeing them together, even as adults. And there were a lot of good things in this film. And I think the opening... Or the one of the uh, early scenes where this girl with a scar on her cheek is uh, lured by Pennywise is actually the quintessential way that Pennywise should act. It was scary. It was manipulative. Darkly humorous. But it did not feel entirely unrealistic. It felt like there was something natural to it. And it was a, probably the closest you could get to having what people like the Nostalgia Critic would want to see from Pennywise. So it found that one point, that one scene where it was the best. Unfortunately, the body of the film is a glorified mess, which makes it really hard to appreciate the film in its entirety. You can always find groups of scenes that you like, but you'll have to put away groups of scenes that really don't work, and trust me, it's going to be about half and half. But by the end, I came out with a 7 out of 10. Was not as bad as some people's movie going experience, but I can understand the disappointment that a lot of people felt. But I can also understand people really liking this because the challenge of getting those those uh, adults to act a certain way and to really show that they are a translation of the children to adulthood that was that was done really well. And as for the 31 day challenge, we're doing a first time watch and I believe there's yeah, one of the 2019 films got that out of the way. Uh, there are some things that are going to be difficult for me to get through. But I'll try to do it the best I can. I don't think there's anything more I can get with this. I could try to stretch for some things, but I don't want to do that. I want it to be a very affirmative of what I want there to be on this. I don't want to say, well, there was like this werewolf moment in the film, so it's a werewolf movie. And I don't want to have a, a zombie film be something that was directed by Rob Zombie. I want it to be like you look at this and go, okay, he's not copping out. So with that all said, uh... I'm still going to go through with this. Got plenty more days to go, plenty more films to watch. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.